All right, so purpose of making this video is that I wanted to share a little bit of uh, information about credit. Um, a lot of people don't understand credit very well. They have credit cards, they use them, but they don't understand um, what you can do to protect your credit. So of course, everybody needs credit uh, to buy a house, buy a car, or even be able to pay the bills and uh, buy things that you just don't have. And it's very easy to get into the situation where you actually overspend and then you are basically paying a lot of interest rate finance charge on the credit. So the recommendation is to stay below 30% of your available credit limit, like um, which is called uh, credit utilization. So uh, you don't want to go over 30% of your available credit. So let's say you have a credit card with $1,000. Uh, and this applies to the same uh, if you have a lot more credit limit, multiple cards. But they generally look at total number of available credit and how much you are using it. So if you are using below 30% of your available credit limit, then you're fine. That's normal for them. But if you go higher above 50%, then that, that, that looks really bad for them. And then if you really go like really high, like 95% or something, then that's, that's when they realize you're uh, in pretty bad situation. So everything starts going bad from there on, like your interest rate goes up uh, and, you know, uh, they start canceling your limit and they realize that, you know, you're about a default or you have bankruptcy. Now, this could happen even to people who really uh really use their credit for some uh good reason like a business or they're running a business for the credit um or they are buying stuff for the business and they have i mean i'm not talking about like a pleasure or leisure spending i'm talking about real real um important spending that you have to do uh and some people find out it's easier to use credit cards than other means of getting loan because they're so easy to borrow money but at the same time they're so easy to get in uh debt trap um that you really won't be able to get out and um i mean and it is very important so if anybody's in bad situation first thing um i want to say let's say you have a credit card uh let's say you, to keep it simple let's say you have a thousand dollar credit limit and one day you decided to buy a $900 computer. Now you put that on the credit card and you're basically using 90% of your credit limit. So now you have uh, reached that threshold and you decided to pay it slowly, like monthly payments. So you don't pay it off every, like the next month, you know? Uh, and that will be okay if your credit limit was higher or your computer was cheaper one of the two uh, but you went really close to that and that will drop your credit right away what you have to do then is of course um, you can pay it off um, but let's say you don't have any money you're paying your bills and really the reason why you use the credit card in the first place is that you didn't have the money cash to pay the, for the computer so now what you do um, this will be smarter to do and easier to do before you actually buy the computer, like to have another credit card with thousand dollars on it. So now you're in much better situation because you bought thousand dollar, $900 computer and you have available credit of $2,000. But if you did, uh, have a one credit card and now you have $900 the best thing would be to try to get another credit card uh, it might not be as easy as uh, because whenever you apply for credit they look at your credit report and which is going to show that you have one credit card only and you use $900 out of $1,000 limit so they will be scared to give you more credit because 
they don't know if they are going to get the money back so um, whatever you do uh, you just uh, need to understand uh, how to stay under your limit now of course sometimes you get like those um, balance transfer checks or zero person offering so a lot of people like that idea but they're good uh, to use but they're like banking on the fact that you're not gonna pay it off within a year so let's say you get zero percent for one year and they do cost you they're not free generally you get like uh, uh, 3% uh, fee uh, on those balance transfer checks right away so they make 3% off your balance transfer so that's the minimum they're gonna make and they will make the money and after that uh, they're counting on the fact that you are going to take longer uh, to pay off those uh, transfer check amounts or balance transfer. You're not going to be able to pay it off within the year and then they're going to make more interest in the long run. So the idea is to have the credit, use it wisely and uh, not to get into that situation where you uh, where they think that you are in a um, uh, bad situation because you you know you want to be uh, building your credit not really trying to hurt it so just wanted to give you that information so stay under 30 percent uh, credit utilization and also other other thing is uh, not to get into uh, a habit of not paying it off uh, like uh, on time like late payments are really really bad uh, also you want to make sure that you're paying more than the minimum payment I mean minimum payments are, the, are like indicator for them to that they look at how much you're paying too so if you are paying really minimum payment that means that you just don't have enough money to pay more um, because generally if you have money you are more likely to pay off your credit card as soon as possible so let's i mean they just have that um um pretty much um understanding that you know they will give you the credit you will use it and then you will pay it off and uh, if you don't well uh they're gonna make money but they don't definitely want to lose uh, all that money also so when they see you are in a situation um, that you can't pay your uh, you can barely pay your minimum payment then they raise your interest and then interest rate goes from I mean zero percent all the way up to 25.99 percent interest rate and they know when you have high utilization it will be hard for you to uh, pay it off quickly so you will basically been um, paying a lot of interest or finance charge and um, that is what you don't want to be in so having credit card is good just don't go over the limit and I give you an ex another example that I ran into uh, not personally but I, uh, I know people uh, uh, have like credit cards and then they have a bad experience or their interest goes up and they start taking action the worst thing you can do is start closing your accounts down uh, because that that they consider as a negative uh, so let's say you have five credit cards and one credit card you um, uh, using um, a lot of money and something happened and they raised your interest rate and you decided no you don't need five you're gonna go to one or two and you close three accounts uh, and you have like let's say $500 balance on each card uh, that raises your credit utilization so now you have $5,000 available and you have $1,000 $500 on each card and you just close your three cards with no limit of course you can't close the account unless you have paid them off so uh, if you paid those cards and you just thought it was a good idea to just close your actual account uh, don't do it uh, because banks don't I mean they don't want to use 
they want they don't want you to you go above 30 percent but i mean you can go 50 percent and that's okay but it will still drop your credit but as soon as you close down the cards that you're not using you're reducing your credit uh limit i mean uh so now you are it looks negative on you and you can drop your credit considerably because if you for example go up in a situation where you're like 80 90 percent utilization because you closed the account that you had no balance on uh that could affect you and immediately they'll notice that and because they check your payrolls and when they realize that you are in that situation then they're going to raise your interest rate and you wonder what happened um uh just that you just didn't understand credit and you closed the accounts that were actually important to keep your utilization down okay i hope that was great uh information and um uh, i mean i uh, just don't want people to uh you know get um in a credit debt because they just didn't understand it okay